What is up guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS5 tutorial. So the big one is finally here. Illusion has released his 60 FPS patches for the PS5. So anyone running a jailbreakable PS5 will be able to try some of his 60 FPS patches. Right now, he's got a Bloodborne 60 FPS patch, Lance McDonald's one ported over. Also the Order 1886, Gravity Rush 2, Red Dead Redemption 2, and potentially other games coming as well. So we're going to go ahead and dive into the installation setup here to show you guys how to get these patches running on your jailbreakable PS5 system. So in order to do this, first of all, you can see we're running Bloodborne. This is standard Bloodborne as it normally runs on the PS5, which is just the normal 30 FPS lock. So what we're going to do is exit out of that to get ready for installing things. So it will be handy if you have the internet browser set up as a shortcut on your homepage or as your notifications so that you have a quick way of accessing the web browser on the PS5. That will be very useful. However, I will show you guys how to access the site even if you're not able to do that. Obviously, you need to be on system software version 4.51 or lower. I'm on 4.03. So 4.51 or lower is what you need to be on. And you also want to note down your PS5's IP address down there as well. 192.168.137.219 in my situation. So what you want to do here is access the internet browser. Now, if you don't have an internet browser shortcut on your homepage, again, I have videos for that that I will leave down in the video description and in the cards because you should definitely set that up. It will make things a lot easier in future. But if you don't have that set up, you can just go into the network settings for the time being, go to settings, set up an internet connection, press options on your registered network, go to advanced settings, and then go down to the DNS settings and set it to a manual DNS, and then use the primary DNS of either 192.241.221.79 or 165.227.83.145. One of those two IP addresses as your primary DNS uh, will allow you to redirect the user guide over to a exploit site. So from there, we can then go to the user guide up here. And if we go to the user guide, it should redirect us to Aliziv's host for the PS4. And if it doesn't take you here, you can just go ahead and sign out of your profile and sign back in on the PS5. That should refresh things and allow you to get to this site. From there, you can press the left trigger twice to head over to the URL redirector. And from here, you can just go to es7in1.site, which is Echo Stretch's 7-in-1 host. So we can head here, we can go to PS5, and then load one of the PS5 exploits from here. That's the long way around. Obviously, I would highly recommend that you set up a internet browser shortcut like this one, where you can quickly access the website just like this. Or you can use the notification shortcut, which works in a similar way, where you have a web browser link in your notifications that can take you straight to the exploit site here as well. So anyway, what we're going to do is load up the exploit here. So I'm going to use Spectre's exploit. So we're going to load this up and wait for it to do its thing. So it says ready. We're going to click OK. If you get a not enough free system memory error, just click OK and let it refresh. So we're just going to wait for it to trigger UAF, which can take quite a while sometimes. It may be stuck on that for quite a bit. But in this case, you can see it worked just fine and it says launching Elf Loader on port 9020. Now, it may crash while trying to load this. If it does, just restart your PS5. It's pretty normal. Uh, it does crash from time to time. You'll just have to reboot your PS5 and try again. So from here, you're going to want to download the 60 FPS patches by Illusion, which I'll leave linked down in the video description, of course. And you also want to download Python version 3.11 or whatever the latest version of Python is at the time that you're watching this. Uh, it's required to run the scripts, so make sure you have that downloaded as well. You can also get Python, of course, from the Microsoft Store. It's up to you how you want to get it, but if you're using the installer, just run the installer, let it install Python. In my case, I already have it installed, so it'll just repair it instead, but just go through the installation setup for Python if you don't already have it set up. Now for Illusions patches, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new folder called uh, libhijacker. So we'll create a folder called libhijacker and extract the contents of libhijacker into that folder. And now we can go ahead and run this. So this is the libhijacker or homebrew POC from Astrelski that's been modified by Illusion to load his patches. So what we're going to do is right click here and open in terminal to open up a PowerShell window 
in the same location. If you're on Windows 10, you will not have that option. So just type in CMD space to the beginning of the file path and press enter. And that will open up a command prompt in the same location, which will also work. So from here, we want to run the script. So the script is going to be uh, send underscore elf dot py and then the IP address of your PS5. In my case, that's 192.168.137.219. And then we also need to prefix this with Python. So we can either do Python and that might work depending on how you installed Python or it might be py. And in my case, I have to do py-3.11 because I have multiple versions of Python installed. So yeah, we just want to type in py or Python and then the script name followed by the IP address of your PS5. And then just press enter. And we can see that is beginning to run here. So there it goes. It's running. And yep, it worked perfectly fine. Now you may get a message that says something along the lines of failed to spawn a new Redis server. If you get that message, then unfortunately it failed to load successfully. And that means you will have to just um, restart your PS5 and then repeat the process until you can get it to actually load properly like this, where whenever we do anything on our PS5, it's loading the uh, kernel log. So what we're going to do is switch back over to our PS5 now. And you'll also know on the PS5 if it failed, because what it will typically do is close the web browser and then reopen it if it failed to load. So if you see that behavior, that's probably because it hasn't loaded successfully. So you'll probably have to restart your PS5 and load it again. So from here, we can head back out here into our home screen. And now we can go ahead and load up the game. So in this case, I'm going to do Bloodborne, but you could load Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, these are for specific game versions. So with Bloodborne, I believe it requires version 1.09. So make sure you have that installed. That is the latest version of Bloodborne. So you can just install the latest update from Sony servers. Otherwise, for Red Dead Redemption 2, it needs to be on update version 1.29, which is not the latest version, which means you'll have to install the update from the package installer. And I will have a video coming out probably in the next few days. It might already be out by the time this goes up but it will show you guys how to install a specific PS4 or PS5 update so that you can make your game compatible with the patches. So from here, all we need to do is run the game. So Bloodborne, in this case, we'll go ahead and run it. And there we go. You can see it says 60 FPS patched. We can click OK. And that's it. If we go to play offline, you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it says this 60 FPS patch was made with love by Lance McDonald. So this particular patch is of course Lance McDonald's uh, 60 FPS patch for the PS4 that Illusion has ported to the PS5 version. However, most of his other patches are actually Illusion's own patches for other games uh, that are ported to the PS5. So from here, we can literally just load up a game here and it's now running in 60 FPS. And I'll show you guys some capture footage of what that looks like. Bloodborne running at a rock solid 60 FPS on the PS5. And again, you can do this with Gravity Rush 2, The Order 1886, Red Dead Redemption 2. And again, I'm sure Illusion will be adding more games to that list as time goes on. So that's how you fully get set up with the 60 FPS patches for the PS5. And this also includes developer menus as well for like Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection or Last of Us Part 2. I'm sure those dev menus will be released at some point by Illusion as well. They may, all, they may also be included in this release. You just do exactly what I did here. And then when you run the game, it will enable the developer menu on launch. Also, you do not need to reload the payload when you want to load another patch. All you have to do is close out of the game. And if we want to say load the Red Dead Redemption 2 patch, all we need to do is put in our disk for Red Dead 2, close out of Bloodborne. And then once that disk is fully detected, we can launch the game. And as you'll be able to see here, it is also patching Red Dead 2 as well. So you can basically launch any game that is supported and the patch will be automatically applied. And you can switch between your games and the patches will still be applied, which is pretty handy unless the game crashes or there's some kind of error that can kind of throw things off where you may have to restart and reload the hijacker a second time. So that is essentially it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.